Now, welcome back to Duck Solid Gaming and Southern Cross Station. Yes, that's right. We are back, continuing on with our exploits here in the land down under. And we are going to get straight into it. So, we did a contract uh, when we last left you. And we've done a couple of other things since then as well. We've bought a new piece of equipment. We did another contract. We sold some stuff. And uh, we're all tickety boot. Now, we have also fast forwarded. So, I did all that um, back in July. June, July transition. Um, we're now in August. So we've got a few things in August to do. Um, now, the first thing, I'm going to get back to the contracts again in a minute. First thing we need to do is we need to start seeding. So um, we can now seed our cotton. Um, so we want to seed that. And as we said, we're going to seed that up here in uh, in field seven. So we're going to have a nice big cotton harvest to do. That's why we bought the cotton harvesters anyway. So that's that's got to be done. We have to finish collecting the grass and we have to roll the grass. That's okay, we've got to get that done. So that's fine, we're going to do that as well. Now, the other thing is too, I just happened to check the contracts again and I've now got a sugar beet contract to take it to my own sugar mill. <laughs> so we're going to accept that because I already had the truck loaded with sugar beets to take the sugar mill anyway. Um, but I don't know if the sugar mill is going to accept the 177,000 litres. So we may be, it may be a problem for us, but we're going to accept it anyway. And um, we're going to go and do it. So um, we've got that as active now. So all I've got to do is go over here to the truck, uh, jump in, and uh, and deliver it. All right. <clears throat> off we go. So I've obviously got enough to cover off the contract, 177000 for the contract. Um, so we're getting, getting paid to supply ourselves, basically. Um, now that's assuming, and this is something I haven't checked, this is assuming that the product is going to go into the total in the sugar mill. It may just not get registered and just get sold off, which is fine. I, that doesn't matter. But um, we're about to find out. So off we go. Hope everyone is doing well. We are doing well here. We are continuing on through our uh, cold and wet summer. Oh, sorry, winter, I should say. Um, real life winter. Um, and we're coming out the back end of our um, in-game winter as well. So uh, that's okay. All right. The other thing we've done as well is we um, we've collected. You'll see here on the trailer we've collected all our our wool that was available at the moment. So we've, um, we've got to deliver the wool because the uh, the sheep pens are becoming full. So we've got some wool delivery to do as well, which that then means the spinnery will get started, which then means the um, Taylor shop will get started, so we've got that production running as well, which is excellent. Um, we've got other fields to prep ready for, for sowing, because we're going to be a, just a couple more months away from sowing again. Um, for things like our corn and uh, sunflower and anything else we, we so choose to put in. So we've got that to deal with as well. Um, so yeah, we've got, uh, we've got lots to get done. Um, and this is in the quiet month, so like I said, having production and all that sort of stuff running and, and contracts, I mean it'd be great if Giants could fix their contracts, um, we'll have all that sort of stuff running, so, yeah, anyway, I think, there, no, there's no road up here, is there? Uh, let's go down through here and turn around. One turn early. Right. It's down through here. And then there's our sugar mill there on the right hand side coming up to that. And the spinnery and also the tailor shop. Get out of the way. We're running over. Alright, so let's see how this goes. Lots of sugar there. All right, let's see. All right, so we don't make any money. No, so it's not going in, so that's fine. Good, it's just acting as a normal cell point. Excellent. Happy with that. Seventy-one percent in one load. 
after the rest of the load. So we're going to get we get paid for our delivery, which will be coming up anytime now. There we go. So the transport's completed. We're going to fill up the rest of the um, sugar mill. There we go. That's done. Excellent. And we come back in here to our contracts uh, down here. And sugar beet completed. So we're going to collect $123,000. Thank you very much. Corn. There's also a corn delivery um, and canola. I don't think we, we don't think we've got canola. But I'm sure we don't have canola. No, we don't have canola. We do have corn. Um, what was the corn for? Brain West Corp, 26,000 litres. Yeah. No, you know what? I'm not going to worry about that. All right. Let's get into the other things we need to do. So um, one of the things we did is we changed um, our orchards here to distributing. So they're now distributing directly to the places that take them, so specifically the fruit processing factory at the moment. Uh, it'll also be sending some stuff here to the bakery, um, which is unfortunate in a way, but that's, that's by and large what it's going to do. So that's fine. Um, we do need to start working on um, putting more orchards and that in, as we said before, but we've just collected the grass from that grass field that we're going to turn into our new placeable area. So we might spend some time today doing that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the truck here. Now, I want to go over and show you the other purchase we made. Um, dun, 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 dun. Where are we? Right, there it is. All right, here we go. This is the new purchase we made. Not the tractor. I'll go to this side so we've got the sunlight. All right, we bought the KSO H Rotor Cutter LB436 HD. So this is a baler, high, high capacity baler. So these are the bales we've put out. So as you can see there, 6,500 litre bales. Um, and it's got the uh, windrower or collector at the front. So um, basically this enables us to do two things. Number one, we can we can get rid of the Kubota and the windrower and the Swatter if we wanted to, which I'm not going to do. But it just means when we're collecting, um, we can collect all the little bits and pieces that we miss as well. And now it's actually quite fast. This one runs at 28 kilometers an hour. Um, and uh, it's a bit of a beast. But like I said, the advantage is, um, why isn't that lowered? Hmm. Um, the advantage of this is it'll just collect everything as well. So while I'm going through here, you collect all that, but it'll also collect the little bits and pieces that I miss that makes the turning a lot easier, all that sort of stuff. And then all we got to do is come through, we collect the bales, and we can use the bales in both the um, the grass dryer and the silage fermenter. We can drop bales into both of those. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to collect it with the... Um, I'm not going to collect it with the um, shitty bagger anymore, the loading wagon. So what we're going to do is I'm actually also going to consider selling the big M. Because now we've got the Cougar, um, we don't really need the Big M, although the Big M is good for the smaller areas, but we haven't really got a small area to, to mow. So, and the small area we do, the smallest area we do have, which we're talking about getting a bit tight and stuff like that, um, which we bought the Kubota for, actually, um, we can get rid of because we're using that land as a um, production area. So, um, yeah, we, we might end up selling the Kubota, even, <laughs> even though we bought there we, there we go. This is a bit of a waste, but it's a bonus for someone else. But anyway, there's no point keeping we're not going to use it, is there? Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to go around, we're going to collect all this grass, I'm going to bale it up, I'm then going to collect all the bales, I'm then going to roll all this in. But as you can see, it's, uh, it's doing a pretty good and quick job of picking up all this grass, which is good. And, and the other bonus for me, my incompetent uh, farming skills, is I don't have to worry about following the swath currently and missing little bits and pieces. It's just going to pick them up. So, um, yeah, win-win. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, this is a good thing. Um, I think this. I'm pretty sure this one was available in the in-game mod hub. So, um, so yeah, you can go get it from there. Comes in the case branding and also New Holland. I think it was the other one. And you have the flexibility of changing the size of bales. So um, that's what we've done. We've we've used the uh, the largest 
fail because we just might as well. Alright, but as you can see, it's getting the job done pretty quick. Now, I mean, the fact that we've we've windrowed it means we're not doing quite as much, but it'd be a little bit slower if we're doing all the other. But it's not going to make that much difference. So if I don't if I don't use the squad drive, it's not going to really matter that much. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I might, you know, I'm not thinking about it. I think I might sell the quad, the Kubota, and I might sell the big M. Um, and we might sell the Swadro because there's no real need for the Swadro anymore. Um, in, in fact, thinking about it, I'm, I'm not even really going to need the loading wagon because I'll probably use this for the straw as well. And if, if I like it that much, I'll probably end up buying two of them and we'll, we'll pick up the straw with this. We'll just bail it and then pick it up with the bale trailer. Um, something a little bit different. Yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll have to think about that, but I think that's that's probably the most likely uh, route we'll go down. Like I said, he's, he's doing a pretty good job with this. Pretty quick and efficient, isn't it? See all those little bits and pieces there? Just pick them up. All we do is bring the trailer around here, the tractor and the trailer, and get it all up, and then we're done. So this field will continue as a grass field, like we said. Um, we'll come over and we'll roll this one. Um, the other field just there ahead of us that we've already pre-baled. Um, that one there we're going to turn, that'll be placeables. We're going to use that for placeables and expanding our farm. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Okay. I'm still not 100% convinced about using the greenhouses yet, or where I'm going to put the greenhouses. Um, I might do, I probably will do the greenhouses and they'll be up this end so that I'm not disturbing the um, house. Um, the last thing you want to be is in the house and then having all the noise. But then it's going to be orchards and that as well, so it's not going to make that much noise. Um, it's just the trucks going through delivering, but yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll have a bit of a play and, and see. I might I might test out a bit of a, a plan with it and then go from there. All right, uh, that's it. So, you up and we'll head over to the other field and we'll quickly get that done as well. And then what else we got to do? We got to collect the bales and then we got to roll. So. Yeah. All right, off we go again. So it's just those little little strands here I can I can pick up. I don't have to worry about going around too much. In the areas of the corners where it becomes a bit messy, especially with the swadro because it's um it's so big and ungainly in, in turns. <clears throat> we're only talking about a couple of a couple of extra handfuls of, of grass basically, but um, anyway, it's just completes it a bit better, doesn't it? It's quite a good functioning unit. Nice and quick. Big bales. So I'm picking with that that mess up there. That was that's an ideal showing you the um, mess that you've got. It just without an issue, just picks it up. Now remember in FPS 17, I think there was a version like this, and it had it had some stupid set of um, collectors. Like it was about three times as long. Um, and again, this comes back to the realism type discussion we had previously in in, in 
in one of the other series. This this unit, as it currently sits, is actually available. It's a, it is a real life unit. You can actually get it in this configuration. So um, it is realistic in that regard. Probably not the speed. I don't think it probably runs at this high speed. But nonetheless, um, the unit itself is is accurate in that regard. So um, that's, which is fine. We don't mind. We're just using it because it's convenient. Bales everywhere. I'm just going to chuck it right there where I'm turning into to come back out, isn't it? All right, we're getting there. But what we could have been doing, what we should be doing. In fact, I'll do it once I finished here. I'm going to get one of the. Um, tractors with the cedar up and I'm going to start sowing that cotton um, there's no reason why we should be delaying that I mean we can use course play to do that I'm not going to do the seeding of that field manually so um, we might as well get that done oh I missed a bit oh terrible um, yeah so we'll get we'll get that going um, and then uh, one less thing we have to worry about basically I'll get that stuff near the tree as well. Oh, I knew I was going to do that. Damn it. Come on, just flick around. <laughs> See, it doesn't fix my appalling driving. Right. Almost done. Let's just part of the field here and then we'll go back into the other side. And then we'll be done for now. all that because we just turned badly. I'll try that again. And this last little section here. Bob's your uncle, that part's done. Excellent. Lots of bales. You got lots of grass come up. Come here. Bit deceiving, I guess, with the fields we have got or the areas we've got that um, we have the grass in. Um, exactly how much grass we're picking up. It's um, there's, a, there's a fair old whack of grass, so it's good. the doorbell. Right, so we'll finish this off and then um, and then we're done. I 
All right, almost there. Noise in the background of you can hear is the missus opening up the parcel that just arrived, so that's okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, anyone know a good divorce lawyer? Right. <laughs> Ah, uh, I'm joking. For now. What? <laughs> oh dear. Okay, she finds it funny. Right. As I'm just playing, catching with all the bales, let's um get this last section here done, and then uh, and then we're done. Right. So I can put my full attention back into this. Rightio, there we go. That's it, we are done. So now we can turn that off. We can eject all our bales that are left in the baler. One, two, and fold up. There we go. All done. Excellent. So that, that did short work of all that grass, so that's good. A lot quicker than picking up with the loading wagon because, I mean, obviously with the loading wagon we can pick it all up. Have to go offload, come back, da 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 Whereas with this, that's all done. And now all we need to do is go back and bring the trailer over, the tractor with the trailer, and just pick them all up. So um, it'll be interesting to see how much I get, how much all the trailers up to because it's got four trailers, doesn't it? So, um, yeah, it'll be interesting as well. All right. Let's uh, get this back into the farm. We'll take the wool. No, actually, we're going to get the seeding going, weren't we? So that's what we're going to do next. Get the seeding going. Then we'll take the wool to the spinnery. And then we'll come back and we'll collect the, bar the bales. And then we will roll the fields or the grass fields or grass meadows, probably more to the point. All right. So I'm going to just bring you in here. Leave you here like that. All right, now let's go grab one of these guys. This is when I was already started him. All right, uh, he's fully, fully laid and ready to go. All we gotta do is change what we're planting. Oh, too tight. Wasn't much what I was doing. Right now, these can't do cotton. Right, so that's fine. That's no good to me. So bring that back in here. Find my other cedar. We've got another cedar that does cotton. That might be a problem. Okay, let's. Uh... Oops, wrong button. Do not the shop. I want that. Thank you. Right, let's go see if we've got another cedar. Oh, I think we had a big, um, a big plains cedar over here. I've got, a, I've got a couple of the smaller cedars somewhere. There we go. There's a big plains. Or is it John Deere? Either or, doesn't matter. It'll do us. If it, if it does cotton, we're all good. If it doesn't, we're screwed. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I bought something for cotton. Okay. No, I think this one will do cotton. Not bad a problem. There we go. All right, we just need to fill it up. So, open the tanks. And we need to get some liquid fert, and we need to get some uh, seed. A liquid fertilizer we don't have. Um, hmm. That may be a problem as well. Or does this give liquid? I don't think this does give liquid fertilizer actually. I think we've had that problem before. Here goes the seed. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to worry about fertilising. I'm just going to um, see. We'll just get it done. We can always um, fertilise after. Right, so there we go. Now to the big white field. It's been freshly lined. So 
snow everywhere. We've got all these fields over there that have been limed, ready to go. Alright, so we're going to run, like I said, cosplay course for this guy. Um, and we'll just let him go help for leather and get it all seeded. Okay, there we go. Right, create the job. Well, no. Create the job. Um, this field here. And we start from there onwards. There we go. Um, open course generator. 17.7 meters. Number of headlands. I'm going to do three headlands. I'll do four headlands. Uh, clockwise, 3% overlap. Uh, yep, 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 yep. And generate the field work. There we go. Open, close. Open, close. Oops, escape, escape, escape. There we go. And bring that up. First waypoint, and off you go. All right, so we'll get that done. Excellent. Uh, let's have a look at... I'm going to have a look at that field, actually, while I think about it. Um, it's been cultivated. Yep, happy with that. Um, yes, yeah, so it is going to need fertilization. So we will put some fertilization on it. Indeed. All right. Okay, he's unfolding. Close to the end of the episode. I'm just going to wet the whistle. Locks in place. Come on. What are you doing? Unfold seed, let's see, let's see. Is it because you haven't got liquid fertilizer? Is that what you're really worried about? Right, once more. I don't think I've got, um... Yeah, no, it, I thought I had the option here that I don't have to use a fertilizer. All right, well, we're going to have to fix that. Um, what am I going to get to take the fertilizer out there? Um, 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 yeah, look, I'll have to fix that later. All right, we'll, we'll get to that later. Um, all right, what was I going to do? I was going to get the this done. All right, let's deliver the um, wool. Do that. I forgot. Take this down the spinnery, and then we're going to come back. And we're going to collect some of the bales, uh, but that'll be the end of the episode because um, we're running out of time already. So I will spend a little bit of extra time just to do some of the bales, but we've got to get rid of these first. So um, I want to get the the spinnery up and running. Which that means we get the. Um, the tailor shop up and running as well. So let's get that going, and then obviously when we get the cotton running, well, geez, we're going to be might put a second spinner in, maybe a third. Anyway. All right, so race this down. <clears throat> I hope you're enjoying the episode. I know this one hasn't been a very vocal one. We've just been busy, I guess. Anyway. Irrespective, I hope you're enjoying the episodes. I hope you're enjoying the series. I hope you're enjoying all the other videos as well. We are um, also well on our path to 5,000 subs. We um, 
we've had a pretty good couple of months actually we've we've um, grown quite quite quickly in a way we're still only a small channel um, and uh, but we're, we're well above where we thought we'd ever get to so um, I never imagined we'd get anywhere near a um, thousand or fifteen hundred subs let alone um, we're just over a little over three and a half thousand now um, it's it's not a um, quick process and it's not something that we're planning on leaving our job and everything else for and, and all that sort of stuff but um, it's it's been a surprising journey and I'm, I'm thankful for everyone that's come along on that journey with us um, past present future all that sort of stuff and, and I'm just going to pass my spinnery oh, I'm not floating there that's a big offload I must go and have a look at that I think I've edited that one too much anyway um, yeah, so um, we're really appreciative of, um, of everyone that supports the channel. So uh, thank you. I'll fade all that. There we go. So it's almost 50,000 wool we've just dropped off there. So we're just going to make sure that um, we've got that active now. Well, wool. Yep, there it is. It's active. So that's okay. Um, so there we go. Starting to create the fabric. Excellent. Right, now we need to rush back. And we need to get some of them bales up before we sign off entirely. Even though we're a couple minutes over, over late, over time, I should say. Right, so what I need to do is I'm just going to go through. I need to do the, the reset of all the trailers, which is the unloading, forced unloading, because um, because we didn't unload the trailers, they get auto unloaded. It creates the bug where they don't tend to load correctly. Um, so what we found is by forcing them to, to offload, and then resetting to load again, uh, they tend to be uh, more responsive. So what I need to do now though, is I need to go uh, in here, I need to change my type. Um, so, crown bale, square bale 240 is what I need. I'll do the same again. Probably can go up the other way, but I'm just going to go through the farm. 40. One. That's it on this. They should all be good just to auto pick up. Right there we go. All right, turn it off. I tend to lose focus going through that corner. I've, I've caught myself in that fence so many times. Um, doing deliveries, it's not funny. <laughs> and you don't see that, need to see that, so I don't need to repeat it. Alright, here we go. Over the crossing again. Hopefully I don't crash it into the water again, which I've done a few times as well, as you would have seen. And then we go up here, and we're going to click the bales. And then the next episode, I think the next episode we'll start looking at... Um, we're getting our placeable area done. We're going to start um, laying this out, clearing the trees, flattening off a little bit of area that we need to. Uh, oh, need to turn my trailer to auto load. So there we go. Um, yeah, so we might start um, looking at getting that done and start setting this place out um, for our production that we want. So um, yeah, hopefully you can join us for that, and um, we can do something a little bit different and. Uh, and get the production running here one and truly in a southern cross station um like i said we're gonna we want to run pretty much most of the dragon den pack stuff um and we want to be prepared ready for his next update um so i do want to get a fair bit of the uh, fruit and veg running so that means a couple more orchards and um and greenhouses uh maybe even a syrup house i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna do the syrup house um so we'll, we'll see about that and the maple syrup production so yeah but we'll uh, again we'll have a look at that when we come back in the next episode alright as you can see it's picking up these bales nicely so we've got 58,500 litres of grass there so far um, so yeah it uh, quickly adds up with these big bales for sure how much we've got off this one a little part of a little field because now we're going to lose that it's, it's grass we're not going to have going forward 
but again, it's not going to be too much of an issue because I think we've got plenty of um, grass available to us in the other areas. Remember, we have got that other field we purchased as well to put. Um, we were, we we're talking about putting the greenhouses in, so we may actually put the greenhouses down in there to start off with, um, and not have them straight up here near the near the farm. Um, well, so it was about 90,000, just shy of 90,000 from that small field, which wasn't too bad. Okay, uh, next trailer. But anyway, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. We'll continue picking up all the bales. We won't do anything with the bales. We'll just pick them up off the field. Uh, we might um, roll one of the fields. I'll see how we go. Uh, we'll also get the cedar running as well um, and get that cotton seed underway. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this episode. So again, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you did, make sure you press that like button. It really helps us out. Uh, if you didn't, that's okay. You can press the dislike button as well. That helps us out as well. Um, I don't care either way. But uh, if you've already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And um, we'd love to have you on board. Um, make sure you press the alarm notification icon as well when you do that so you're made aware when new videos are available on the channel otherwise you won't know and uh, you get to miss out on my uh, why say wonderful content my content <laughs> anyway all right um yeah so don't forget to come join us on discord twitter and facebook details for all those are down below in the description as well love to have you come join us there and uh of course most important matter of anything else, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. And we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Duck Solar Gaming and Southern Cross Station. See you later. Bye.